What if your calendar was like a ledger? You know, a detailed accounting of how you spent your money. But this is a calendar that's evaluating how you're spending your time. You know, you've got a checkbook and you're writing out checks. You get 10,000 minutes every single week and you have to write a check every single time you go and spend that time. And then you're recording it in your calendar or your ledger, right? You block out your time. You decided what it is that you're going to do in it. And as you decide what it is that you're going to do in it, sometimes it doesn't work out. You block your work time. Everybody blocks work time. We might block our family time, some personal time, some fun time, some gym time. Some of us even block out our sleeping time. And what happens when we don't stick to it? Do you go into your ledger and make that correction? Do you withdraw from one account to pay for the other? If you were doing this in business and it was money, when you lose that money or you take money from one account to pay for the other, like that's something we track. That's something we evaluate. That's something we plan. And yet often when our calendars don't match up to what it is that we've planned to do, we never adjust it. We don't even notice it. In fact, we waste time every single day multitasking. We waste time every single day not planning time on our calendar or planning too much time for something that might take a very little amount of time to begin with. And what we focus on expands so we can drill in on that. But if we put too much time, our, our time fills into that calendar appointment. It's something that could have taken an hour or half an hour takes four because we didn't plan that time. So when you don't plan your time, what happened to it? Where did it go? Do you go back and evaluate how you spent your week? The beginning of your week, do you allocate time to plan for the week and do that evaluation? To look at how you spent your time, deciding whether or not you got a good ROI on that investment, on that check that you wrote for yourself for last week. Was it worth it? Was the time that you spent doing those things worth the limited amount of budget that you had available last week? If it wasn't, would you do it again? Or if it was, do you want to make sure you've got time for it? So take that time, take an hour every week to sit down and plan that personal time. Plan the time to do the one thing such that by doing it, everything else is easier or unnecessary. Balance your time like a ledger.